Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Penny and Amanda and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Penny's ability to understand and respond to some of her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and tons of motivation that we give her when we're working with her and the training equipment that we're using. Amanda is using a regular six-foot web training leash she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand, which leaves her left hand free to give those little corrections that we're talking about. And it's only a little tug and release, and we're going to have several types of training collars for you to choose from. Now, Penny is sitting very nicely at Amanda's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking. And one of your complaints was pinning going in the street when you're walking her at home. So healing means that she stays next to your left leg, not forging ahead, not walking out into the street. And when you stop your feet, she should sit automatically sometimes she does it automatically sometimes she has to be told but that's pretty good automatic sitting so when you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on a busy Philadelphia street she should be sitting automatically without being told to wait for her next command and she's doing a great job of it this morning Now the next command is the sit stay. It is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use her name. You can practice this indoors as well as outdoors. And you want to lengthen out the amount of time she can hold it and the distance that you can go. Now she is a timid girl. So we haven't pushed her past her level of comfort. So we're going to be showing you some, you know, other commands that you can practice with her at home because you're mom and dad and because she is timid, we don't want to freak her out. So Amanda will heal her out of that. And sit. No sit. Now we're using a clicker and treats as a reward system for her so that she's enjoying what she's doing and she's not feeling like she's getting beat up. And you will see with her that she has like a, a window that she behaves really well and then she'll get tired of doing it and then she'll become more stubborn. This is your come on command and she's been taught to come and sit. So she still, when she's excited, wants to jump up, but she's not supposed to do that. She's really a sweet girl. Amanda will use her name and a happy voice. And again, you can practice this in your house. This is your recall or your come on command. And the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is her go to place. And if you have a dog bed or something that she likes at home, we use a little mat and we, we name the item. So you can say bed, we say place, and then she knows to sit. So this is her go to place. And you can heal her out of that. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> uh, she, I was gonna say she doesn't want to get oh, off of too. her mat. You take her back around and then tell her go to place. And within no time at all, she you tell her go and she'll go from across the room. Place. Good job, Penny. Good girl. So we have demonstrated for you your heel, your automatic sit, your sit and stay, your come, and your go to place. We're going to be showing you how to practice your lay down on commands because she was a little bit afraid of what we were doing with that command so we didn't push her. We've really enjoyed having her. She's been a great guest and a good student and we will see you soon.